Globally Senior Engineer MBA and Investor. In today's video, I want to talk about this screenshot here. China catches up in papers published compared to other countries. Of course, U.S. still leading, still leading the race, being number one with the number of published in 2018 being 898. And in China, you had 824. Now, obviously, these numbers are sort of outdated. I can pretty much guess at this point with the trajectory is probably something similar. I would take a guess the U.S. is still number one. If you guys have the latest edition of that, you know, those numbers, please let me know. But I do believe U.S. should be number one. But what is interesting is China. China is number two. And they are actually the most cited paper for the top 1%, right? This one of the comments here said, the scientific rise of China and the number of top 1% most cited publications, right? So this is really interesting, right? China being number two and US being number one, yet the top 1% most cited publication is coming from China. And of course, China has been all over CRISPR. We know this from the controversy in 2018, 2017, with that Chinese scientist there. Um, and it's, it's just crazy how China is just firing from all cylinders right now. I mean, I was listening to this podcast episode with the All In today. Uh, and they're talking about how China is having, you know, economy issues, housing bubble crash, and so on. Yet, yet, you see these types of things happening behind the hood. They're investing in technologies. They're investing in research. They're publishing more papers. They're allowing more people to get their hands on CRISPR papers. And that alone is getting them in a competitive position, right? Because this technology is not mainstream. There is no public company that can actually sell a CRISPR drug therapy. And them investing this much should raise the eyebrow, right? It's something similar to the EVs revolution. I think we, we Americans at least, got very lucky with Tesla. Um, but make no mistake, the top three, top four EVs company outside of Tesla are Chinese companies. And even Tesla has a factory in China. I think the same thing will happen in CRISPR. The top three, four, five CRISPR company, you selling the most CRISPR therapies, will most likely be in China. Or at least these current companies, like Beam Therapeutics, CRISPR Therapeutics, will have a division in China. Is this possible? It's just speculation. But I truly believe this is happening. This is a thought I thought about today. I was like, hey, you know, this is an interesting thought. We never really talked about it in this video, in this channel. You know, the, the influence China has here, top 1% of most cited publication must mean something, right? And it's crazy because every time I read a Chinese paper, uh, sorry, a research paper, often or not, they're coming from China, right? So food for thought, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I'm still in Greece here. Sorry for like this whispering, and not being my usual here. It's a beautiful day here, very hot. Um, but I'm getting along, I'm getting along here, surviving. I should be back in the office there in the in three business days, but hopefully today's video and maybe tomorrow potential video um, will be the last videos, uh, doing such videos. I'm really excited to get back in the office there to give you guys the best content, uh, but I really want to thank everybody here watching. Um, it means a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not. Like this video if you found value, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.